Hi everybody, it's Bill Black at Spirit River. Today I'm going to tie for you a foam biot sparkle emerger. Uh, it's a really effective little pattern. Um, uh, great for when a lot of different types of mayflies are hatching. Uh, this particular one's a calabatus, so it's pretty widely used throughout the country. And the idea behind this is we've got a little bit of a um, tail on it, and that tail represents kind of the shuck that it's coming out of, so it's emerging. It's emerging in the surface film. You really don't want any weight on this fly. You want to keep it very thin uh, and slim. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of foam over the top of the thorax, and that keeps it afloat. So this fly will, will uh, fish with the kind of hook down at a bit of an angle, and um, you can still see it because you'll see the foam, and you'll see the rise where you've got it. Um, we do this in a number of different uh, patterns. We do this in a blueing olive, a calabatus. The blueing olive uh, is usually in smaller sizes, starting in about a 16 through 20. This calabatus we do uh, a 12, 14, 16, I believe. We do this same fly in a trico, a green drake, a sulfur, which really I probably should be doing because of this green shirt. Sorry about that. Rust and a pale morning done. So it's a very popular pattern. Here's a picture of it. Maybe we can zoom in on it and I can, you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a tail to it. It's got a biot, turkey biot, wrapped around for the body. It's got a little mono rib or you can put super glue under it. And it's got a foam thorax and your, uh, uh, a foam wing case I should say. The thorax is fine and dry dubbing. And then you've got a little bit of natural mallard. So it's a gorgeous little pattern. Fishes really well. I will go ahead and tie you one. So I always, of course, start with a hook in the vise, a base of thread. Let me see if I can get this in there so it looks straight. It's a little deceiving with the camera angle. So there we go. Now, what I'm starting with, um, you can use it actually real thread, but I'm using um, mono um, because I'm going to use that as a rib that's going to counterwind over the biop body just for durability. So I go ahead and I tie that in and I leave this mono sticking out the back. I take a little bit of um, uh, sparkle yarn. Um, you can use polar air if you'd like which is really nice because it sparkles. It's basically a nylon. And I go ahead and I tie that in. And you want that sticking out about the length of the shank. So that one's just a wee bit long and what I do is you'll see that I wrap this forward because I'm building an underbody for that turkey biot. Now there again I don't want a really fat one. I want to keep it nice and thin. Yet still it'll give me a nice taper. So I bring my thread back these are the turkey biots that we sell and um, what a lot of people don't realize on this turkey biot this is no commonly what's used this this part of the uh, biot for uh, tails and legs and stuff like that on nymphs but if you take a little chunk of this cut a little piece of that out and then take one piece of this like this and what you do is you can tie it in in two different ways if you tie it in curvature up you'll get a little ribbing sort of a little um, part of it will stick up there's a little bit of fuzz on one side of it and if you tie it curling uh, facing down curvature down you won't get that So now carefully, if you want to put a little drop of super glue there, you can. Now see, you'll see a little tiny ridge that I've developed because I've had tied this in curve up. But oh man, this is a really realistic body. It's the most realistic uh, bug body I've ever seen. So there you go. I cut it nice and tight. Now we're going to take that rib that we've got sticking out the back I go around that three or four times just to make sure go in this opposite direction 
uh, I don't knock that loose. So there I kind of jump it forward. You only want about four or five wraps on it. I'm waiting for my viewers to comment on my broken finger. I broke my finger in India and it hurts in the cold. Okay, so you've got your trailing shuck. The bug is emerging out of it right here. You've got a nice body. Now what you do is you take a little bit of two millimeter foam, cut a nice thin strip of it, and I go ahead and I tie that in right about the middle. I lash it down and then I start pulling it forward to get a look see where that's going to the proportion I'm going to get that still a little bit short. I like uh, I like it about 50% thorax, 50% body. The other thing you can do is you can put your scissor right there too and go forward and almost create a little loop if you want. See how I can push that up and create a loop? That's always cool, but that's not what we're doing today. I go ahead and take a little bit of Spirit River's fine and dry dubbing and um, I'm going to use the Adams Gray because this is a Calabatus, which are typically gray uh, or brown gray. Don't get start me started on colors because I'm quite colorblind. You want to make a fairly decent size bump there. I sure appreciate everybody commenting on our videos. We sure would like to see more comments, which is one of the reasons I'm tying this. People want to see us doing more of the uh, mayfly sort of things. So you see me fold that over after I've got that. Oops, i got to back up a minute. I forgot my legs. It's a nice thing about fly tying. You can always back up. Take a little bit of natural mallard. And what I do here is See how all those tips are about the same? That's how you strip it out. So all my tips are fairly even. I kind of give it a little roll in my hands and I'll take about half of it and I split it and I lay it right on top and I go around loose once and then tight a couple times. Adjust it. Go in and I trim the, uh, the excess and there again the trick is to push that back on a nice trim head. I go ahead and see and you could fold that into a more of a loop if you'd like. Go around here a number of times. I don't clip it too tight there. I want a little bit of a bump there. I push it back with my thumbnail. Go around five or six times. I got one loose hair sticking out of there. I'll go through here and do a whip finish. I always cinch it. There you go. And that is a little Calabatus emerger. It's not so little, it's actually quite big, but we did it on a size 12 so you can see it. Again, Bill Black Spirit River. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Come check our website out, spiritriver.com, or you can also go to Over the Edge uh, Tackle. That's some folks that help us distribute some of the product. Thanks.